So does anyone remember Joe Biden? I think that's his name, Joe Biden. He was the uh, Democratic Party's nominee in 2020. He was the centrist clown that Obama pushed through, um, got everyone to drop out and back him when he won one state. Yeah, uh, apparently he's still around. <laughs> I'll tell you that the strategy of hiding him away is definitely effective. Um, but he, you know, popped up. He probably didn't even make this tweet in particular, but he put out a tweet that got under my skin and um, it's it's unacceptable. So let me read to you what he said on Twitter. He wrote, healthcare is a right for all, not a privilege for the few. Now you might think, Mike, doesn't that sound like a victory? Doesn't that sound like a win? Doesn't that sound as if he's adopting the policy that you want? Well, no, it's not a victory. It's not me not taking yes for an answer. What he's doing is, is he's stealing the rhetoric of Bernie Sanders and in particular Medicare for all proponents, but he's not stealing the policy. You see, I'm okay if you want to steal the policy. If you want to adopt Medicare for all, great. I wouldn't necessarily believe you, but I think that's a step in the right direction. Just adopting it, I think, would shift the Overton window to the left. But he's not adopting Medicare for all. This is the individual who said, if Congress were able to, in some you know historic feat, pass Medicare for all and send it to his desk, he would veto Medicare for all. This is the individual who, prior to the Democratic primary, the health industry was betting on to save their asses. This is the individual who literally used his dead son to make it seem as if Medicare for all would be an insult to his legacy. So Joe Biden does not support Medicare for all, but yet he's co-opted the language that activists of Medicare for all use. And that's a problem. That's disingenuous. You see, believing that Medicare for all uh, is the right policy and believing that healthcare is a right these are ideas that are inextricably linked. You can't disaggregate them. They go together. They go hand in hand. Now, Joe Biden isn't the first Democrat who has used the healthcare is a right language. But here's why they're wrong. If you don't believe that 100% of the population should have healthcare, not access to healthcare, not access to affordable healthcare, but just healthcare period. If you don't believe that 100% of the population is guaranteed that, then functionally speaking, you don't believe it's a right. Do we believe that we should all have access to affordable free speech rights? Do we all believe that we should have access to, uh, you know, affordable Second Amendment rights? Like these things don't make sense, right? Because when we're talking about things that Americans perceive to be rights, we don't put a price tag on them. That means that if you put a price tag on this right, you're automatically excluding people. Because if you believe that you have to purchase something, even if it's a public option, well, that is going to exclude people. That means you have to have money. That means that affordability is going to be something that the government dictates. So that's going to leave some people out. So you don't get to say healthcare is a right if you don't support Medicare for all. Now, if you come around to Medicare for all, then you can say healthcare is a right. But you're not allowed to say that you believe healthcare is a right and not a privilege if your policy makes it a privilege. It doesn't work that way. So when I see this, it's frustrating because you're just trying to placate us. You're trying to piss on our legs and tell us that it's raining. You don't support healthcare being a right if you don't support single payer, Medicare for all. Because something that's a right is guaranteed to us. You can't exclude people on the basis of their income level or their health insurance provider. So, you know, this has got to stop. And I see other Democrats saying the same thing. They have completely stolen the language that we use to talk about Medicare for all. And they've stolen everything with regard to the way that we speak about this policy, with the exception of the policy itself. You can't use the language if you don't adopt the policy. Now, you are absolutely within your rights to adopt the policy. I encourage you all, if you're a Democrat, to adopt the policy. But you can't do that if you don't actually believe in the policy that makes healthcare a right. So when I see this, it pisses me off. And I think, go back in your basement, hide away, because you're just going to remind everyone that you are a terrible candidate, you stand for nothing, 
And it's deeply insulting. You're insulting our intelligence. It's a slap in the face to Medicare for all activists who quite literally want to make healthcare right. But you say, no, I agree with you. I want to make healthcare right. But the response isn't to actually make it a right functionally. You just want to make it a privilege, make it cheaper and affordable, which is subjective. And look, the Affordable Care Act was a step in the right direction, of course. I think that everyone who is a proponent of Medicare for All will admit this. But the problem with the Affordable Care Act is that what is affordable is highly, highly subjective. And even if it is technically affordable, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be robust health care. So when we talk about healthcare being a right as Medicare for all proponents, what we're saying is every single American should have access to health care, not health insurance. They should have health care and they are entitled to all types of health care, mental health care, eye care, dental care. We're not going to limit what they are able to get. We're not going to place, you know, restrictions on whether or not, you know, they can get into this doctor based on their network. No. It's a right. A right is a right. That means you can't deny it to people on the basis of income. So for him to say this, um, I find it highly insulting. You don't get to say this unless you actually support Medicare for All. Now, if you're going to endorse Medicare for All, I wouldn't necessarily believe you, as I alluded to earlier. But then you are allowed to say that you believe healthcare is a right. But until then, shut up about this. Like, you don't get to say healthcare is a right. No, that's nonsense. It's insulting. And just just stop. How are we going to pay for it? You know. You 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 know. You know the you know the thing. thing. You're getting nervous, man. man. man.